A music genre known as drill rap played a prominent role in an apparent gunfight that killed two area performers Wednesday of last week. Today, two surviving suspects appeared in court and they were denied bail. But it was the role of the music that has prosecutors attention. Scott Broom is covering Prince George's County tonight. The rappers in this particular case went by the names Moneybag KZ and Risque Luck. Both featured in videos glorifying their lifestyles, including Risque Luck boasting about committing armed robberies. Face down, this is stick up. June 28th, it was allegedly the real thing. Luck, whose real name was Karan Jaquan Moore, allegedly bursting into a motel room at the Super 8 on Allentown Road in Suitland to rob Xavier Matthews, the rapper known as Moneybag KZ. Both rappers ended up dead in a hail of gunfire. In the aftermath, Prince George's County Police charged Camonte Day and Christopher Jamar Jenkins as accomplices. Day is accused of setting up Moneybag KZ by leaving a key outside the hotel room and texting the attackers. Jenkins is accused of being in on the hit. Police found a burned getaway car with weapons inside in the district after the gunfight, according to authorities. We're both held without bond. State's attorney Aisha Brayboy now dealing with a second high-profile case where key figures were rap performers. The first involved 14-year-old Caden Holland, known online as Baby K, in jail after allegedly trying to kill a student on a school bus. She's calling for accountability for the producers of the music genre known as drill rap related to the cases. So we are very concerned about this particular form of rap music uh, that not only celebrates uh, violence, uh, but also directs violence. When you're talking about things that you have done, violent acts that have actually happened, or things that you actually intend to do uh, that causes other people to react, has caused homicides, uh, shootings, and other acts of violence to actually occur, uh, that's different. Um, and that is not protected. And that is something that we're going to go after. Brayboy said she is aware the First Amendment may stand in the way. Nonetheless, she is directing her prosecutors, she said, to figure out ways where the law might be brought to bear in these cases. She says she'll share her findings on that in the upcoming weeks. In Prince George's County, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.